What's up guys? All right, so the one welding process that everyone struggles with, or at least struggled in their beginning stages of learning how to weld, is 7018 uphill, the 3G position. So the three steps I think you should take to master this process, or at least get you going in the right direction, are settings, rod angle, and manipulation. So when you're looking for your rod settings, if you're striking your arc and you're immediately digging into the steel, you're too hot. So go down, you know, find a setting to where when you strike your arc, you're immediately building steel, you know, your puddles forming, and you're not digging into the metal. That's a good indication that you're at the right, you know, temperature. Second, rod angle. So a lot of people come in 90 degrees. That's, that's fine. I like to go 90 and then tweak down a little bit. So I kind of come in at like, you know, I, I put my rod in 90 and then kind of give it like a little tweak up and that's probably about it. You know, it's, it's not rocket science. You don't have to be perfect, but that's about what I shoot for. And the third thing is manipulation. So you kind of want to go left to right. There's so many patterns, so many different ways you can manipulate the rod. You know, you can do circles to the right, circles to the left. The most important thing you want to worry about is constantly working the puddle up. The puddle gets so hot, the rod gets so hot, there's so much heat in one spot and you're fighting gravity that it wants to just fall out. If you're not constantly moving the puddle up, the puddle's just gonna fall out. You know, when you're welding flat, the puddle can just stay in one spot. You know, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, in, in, when you're welding flat, you can burn a hole, but it's not gonna just fall out like when you're welding uphill. When you're welding uphill, you're constantly fighting gravity. So whenever you're manipulating the rod left to right, left to right, you wanna definitely make sure you're constantly moving up. If you're going left to right or whatever pattern you're doing and you're not constantly moving up and you're staying in one spot too long, it's gonna fall out every single time. So you wanna get that rod angle right and you wanna constantly move up with whatever manipulation pattern you're using. You know, some people do figure eights, some people do, you know, zigzags, whatever you're doing, just make sure you're moving up with your puddle. And I think those three steps are the best ways to go about welding 7018 uphill. So let's go ahead and uh, run a bead and practice some streams. <laughs> Almost forgot these. Got the OSHA police.